I'm taking you book shopping with me today and then I also have some books that were sent to me by publishers, some books that I have bought and some books that I was sent a long time ago. Welcome to a book shopping vlog and book haul video. Welcome back or if you are new here welcome my name is Katrina and I make bookish content here on this channel uh, every week and then movie reviews here at the weekend in the description box below you will find all of my social links including my blog and my goodreads where I review most of the things that I read I'm trying to catch up it's been a weird time but today I'm going to be talking to you about some of these books behind me um, and we're going to drop in some of my book shopping experiences so let's jump into to this book haul slash shopping vlog. So first of all I'm going to tell you about two books that were sent to me by publishers. First of these I have already read and you can see my thoughts on this one in my July wrap up so I will leave that linked up above. Um, this is a proof copy of The Heights by Louise Candlish and the tagline is here it's time to confess what you did up there. When I was reading this book I could not stop talking about it. I have a review on my blog that's linked below but thank you so much to Simon and Schuster for sending me this one and you're going to see the finished cover in just a moment so make sure you stick around for that and then I also got sent a finished copy of Why Mummies Sloshed which I also reviewed on my blog and my Goodreads so you can see my review there this is the fourth book in the Why Mummies series uh, by Jill, Jill Sims and this one says because the bigger the kids the bigger the drink and I love these I've done a couple of these on audio and done a couple of them um, as ebooks and they are she sent me a signed copy of this one as well so that's very exciting um so thank you very much to have collins for this i have already read it and have already reviewed it but having just returned to the uk i had quite a few books waiting for me so thank you for this one um and then one final one that i was sent by a publisher this is when Life Gives You Lemons by Fiona Gibson and I believe this is a finished copy and um, I actually ended up listening to this one on audiobook. I reviewed it on my blog. I feel like this one was right at the beginning of everything so we're thinking maybe March, April 2020 um, but you can use the search bar on my blog or I'll try and leave the link to the review in the description box but this one is um, classic Fiona Gibson, so funny and it features a strong female lead who experiences some sort of growth over the course of the book it's that's the nature of a fiona gibson book um but this one in particular um features an older female protagonist so someone who is not in their 30s or 40s but just that little bit a little bit older and so that's what i really like about a fiona gibson book it just um gives you a different perspective and it's not somebody who's necessarily the same age as me or has the same life experience as me and so i find that a really refreshing read and of course the links to all of these will also be in the description box so let's move on to some book shopping that I did so yes I did visit the very lovely Imagine Things books here in Harrogate they are Harrogate's independent bookshop and um, Georgia who started the bookshop is amazing and so it was one of the first things that I did once I was allowed out of my quarantine went into Harrogate and did some book shopping and so I picked up myself a signed copy of The Heights by Louise Candlish. I picked up one for me and I picked up one as a gift and I picked up one of their special edition tote bags as well but that's also a gift so I'm not going to show it here and spoil it. Um, but yes this is a signed finished copy of The Heights by Louise Candlish and I love the fact that we've got this like sort of purple hue going on on the book and then that does transfer into the naked book as well we've got the purple and gold we've got the purple on the inside of the dust jacket we've got the purple on the cover and it just keeps reminding me of chocolate because of the sort of purple and gold purple and chocolatey color of it but yes this is a signed copy as well i'm so lucky i've got all these signed books it's amazing um but yeah i saw um, either on Instagram or on Twitter that Louise had gone into the bookshop and signed loads of copies of the books. I was like, please let them still have them there once I'm out of quarantine and I can go and buy them. So yes, we've got the lovely Imagine Things books and I bought a finished copy of The Heights by Louise Candlish. So now, now I have two copies. Well, technically right now, because I've not gifted my other copy, I've got three copies, all fun and games. Then I took a little trip to Waterstones 
and in Waterstones, I of course got myself a finished copy of The Kissing Booth. One last time, I need to take the sticker off here. Um, this is The Kissing Booth 3, which came out on the same day as The Kissing Booth 3 came out on Netflix, just making it even harder for me. Haven't read the book yet, haven't watched the film yet. However, there will be a book versus movie coming your way very, very soon. So make sure you are subscribed and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on that. But this is um, the third in Beth Recall's YA series. The first one was such a hit so many, many years ago. And then Netflix bought it and, you know, made the movie that we all, you know, secretly love it's a lot it's, i think it's a guilty pleasure for a lot of people but i'm like oh, it's just it was a good book so of course it's going to be a good movie um i will leave my book versus movie for um movie number one linked up above and i'll leave movie number two book versus movie in the description box below but um obviously buy one get one half price so obviously i had to buy some other books as well so I have two special editions that I got from Waterstones. Very exciting. Another signed copy here. I got this edition of The Yearbook by Holly Bourne, which I hadn't really heard an awful lot about, but then I saw someone share a picture of this beautiful edition. Are you ready to see the spreadges on this one? I, I, I Actually, are you ready? How absolutely stunning are those spreaders. Unfortunately, they don't go around the top and the bottom, but I just think it's beautiful the way it carries on from here to here. It looks like cake. <gasps> I just think they're stunning. And it is a signed edition of the, as well. So exciting. Um, so I don't know what the synopsis of this one is. It is a YA novel. I've read Holly Bourne's previous two adult novels and loved them. Um, and so I'm excited to get stuck into one of her YA books. And the fact that this is a beautiful, stunning, spreadges copy that is signed as well. So amazing. So yeah, I got this one on the Watersons website and had it sent to me. So it was waiting for me when I landed. Um, and then when I was buying The Kissing Booth 3, I also ended up getting this one, which I have not read yet and haven't read the synopsis of. But again, it's a signed special edition. This is The Island Home by Libby Page. And this is a chunky book. So I have not read The Lido. I have not read The Cafe. I need to. I need to have maybe... A Libby Page September? What do we think? Where I kind of binge Libby Page's books. Um, but yes, as you can see, it is signed by the author. Oh, I've just seen the end page as well. <gasps> How sunny and glorious. Um, but yes, let me find the signing for you. It came with a bookmark too. Very exciting. But yes, gorgeous signed book plate in there. And then it also has spreadsheets just love the colour scheme of this again it kind of reminds me of like candy and cupcakes and afternoon tea and I just love it and have you seen the foil on the cover there as well just glorious let's have a look at the naked book sure it's not as beautiful but it does have that ocean colour too very exciting this one is adult fiction as I say I haven't read any Libby page but I could not leave this one behind in the bookshop I, I am spoiled by the fact that I haven't been in a UK bookshop since March 2019. So look forward to some more book hauls and book shopping vlogs coming your way very soon. So then we have um, a couple more. Uh, we have another one that I ordered on the Waterstones website. And this is the special edition of Bridget Jones' Diary. I'm just going to continue to shimmer this. Bridget Jones' Diary and Other Writing by Helen Fielding. Um, and it's just the naked hardback. It's just beautiful. Just gaze on the shimmering and then I'll hold it still so you can focus on it. It matches my nails just a little bit. I uh, hadn't noticed that. Um, but this includes over 100 pages of new and up unpublished material, material from Helen Fielding. There's your end pages. It's not a signed edition, I don't think. Didn't think to check. I think it's just a special edition. 25th anniversary edition. And so we're going to need to be doing a reread of Bridget Jones very soon, aren't we? Yes, we are. Then couple of books I got in Asda. Very exciting. <clears throat> I did get a third book in Asda, but again, it's going to be a gift for someone. And so I don't want them to watch it here and be spoiled for all their gifts. Um, but I got a copy of Someone I Used to Know by Paige Toon. Should we shimmer this one too? 
yes we've got some gold on there loving the gold and purple really matching the nails right there um love all the floral on this one too but the reason that i got a finished copy of this one is because i pre-ordered and listened to the audiobook of this will it have been june will it have been may unsure we'll leave a link to my review in the description box but i wanted to get a finished copy because this book is sit set in and around where i am currently sitting right now and so i am in the process of making a video featuring the locations in this book of course it will be spoiler free but again make sure you hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on that one and i wanted to have a physical copy of the book to show you um so very exciting there and then whilst i was in there it was like two for eight or two for nine or something i'm about to lose my books oh did you see the terror on my face then when the books were about to fall on the floor um so i couldn't resist along the same lines of my page tune already read this book but need a finished copy of it a copy of the reissue of the I'm single girls to do right. list a copy of the reissue of the single girls to do list by lindsay kelk which has um a an 80 page bride to be story and lindsay kelk has also recommended rereading or reading for the first time the single girls to do list before reading her new book on a night like this um which i do have a net galley review copy of i'm so excited so i have to reread this i have to read the new story and then i'll be ready to read on a night like this and you know it's just seemed natural to buy a page two book and then pick up a Lindsay Kelk book. I'll leave my Lindsay Kelk playlist linked up above because I have videos about all of them except this one. So if you would like a whole standalone review or even a combo review of this one and her new one, which comes out in November, let me know in comments if you want me to play it that way. And then, of course, we have one little book left on the pile and then you can see my little plugs behind there as well. I went into the works and I got myself a copy of Always and Forever Glendale Hall, which is the fourth book in the series. And I haven't read this yet, partly because I kind of wanted to come and get a finished copy of it when I knew that I was coming to the UK. So this one did come out a little while ago, but I already knew at that time. Maybe I didn't have flights booked yet, but I knew I was coming. And so I wanted to wait and get a finished copy because all the others of these I've had to read on, on ebook. And I'm just excited for finally getting my hands on a physical Victoria Walters novel. And I'm just, this is just stunning. This is begging for a bookstagram photo taken at sunset, isn't it? Her latest adult fiction. Um, I love this series and I obviously would recommend reading the series, but I have heard that they read as standalones. But keep an eye out for my upcoming wrap ups and I will give you my thoughts on whether this can be read as a standalone or not. Um, yes. So there we have it, some book shopping and a book haul and just, I think it's going to be the first of many to come because I'm back in bookshops and I'm so excited for that. And we've got lots of things coming out August, September, October, November. I'm hoping that I'll be back to book events as well. Um, so do make sure you are subscribed. If you enjoyed this format of video, give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments so that I can make more like this. Or if you didn't enjoy it, let me know in the comments and I will not make more like this. I will go by what you enjoy, obviously. I enjoy making book hauls. I enjoy making book shopping vlogs. I can keep them separate if you want them though. Um, so yes, Make sure you're subscribed, hit that notification bell because I will be back with more bookish content for you next week. And then I will be back with another movie review for you at the weekend. So I will see you then. Thanks for watching.